What's up everybody, I'm Leroy from War of Ages and this is our home away from home. It's a 4350. It's got about a V8 in it. Um, she takes hills pretty well now that we have uh, a lighter trailer on. We used to have a bigger trailer, however we downsized to um, conserve on gas and wear and tear on the vehicle. So um, yeah, this is her and she does well for us. Living conditions are perfect. They're perfect. First of all, this is the driver's side. This is where I spend most of my time. Um, TJ helps out a little bit our base player. He, he drives as well, but uh, mostly it's myself and uh, mine, him, pretty much too. So we got uh, leftover stuff from his drive last night. TJ drove last night while I stayed on the bus because I needed rest and they were cool with that. So anyway, yep, shirts usually uh, is always around the front area and throughout the van because this it seems to be uh, everyone's uh, laundry basket as well as you can tell shorts shirts um, sunglasses for any size and fit that anybody needs whoever's in the front um, symbol for writing music see when we're riding down the street we like to uh, hold it up in the air like this and as we're writing our songs on the road we hit the symbol and stuff so actually honestly I have no idea why that's up here but and stuff we're listening to is War of Ages, um, <laughs> um, the new War of Ages, the Almost, which I haven't heard in the van, but I guess they're listening to it last night. Um, the new Living Sacrifice, got the new plea record at Cornerstone, it's pretty sweet. Some August Burns Red, another for some reason Eternal War of Ages CD. And some other bands. Bands give us CDs, like locals, stuff like that. We do keep them, just so you know. We do keep them and we do listen to them. Some people might not, but we do. As you can tell, there's a couple of them here. There's that one. There's like After the Burial here, I think. Yeah, The Burial, actually. So, yeah. Um, oh, we got some Japan War of Ages CDs in. These are all from Japan, released out in Japan. It's got like all kinds of gibberish on there that we can't understand. But, uh, so yeah, there's the front seat for you. And um, coffee, Starbucks is a hot commodity with our band. We always, always go to Starbucks at least three times a day. If there's one open or close to us, we will find it. So Starbucks is really big. Uh, tire gauge is very important for people who get angry in the van. We like to uh, check their PSI in their head and make sure they needed a little bit of air out or not, you know. So sometimes we got some people that are hotheads. Oh, Asley dying is a big one. We like that. More clothes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So there's the front seat. We'll come around. I'll show you the second part. All right. There's plenty of water. We also have cases of Rockstar to keep us awake at night. Cases and cases of Rockstar. Rockstar came to the uh, the uh, sonar in, um, what was that? That was Maryland. And uh, handed us a bunch of Rockstar energy drinks. Pretty dope. Uh, this is bed one. Usually Gytronius Maxis Viridius sleeps here, which is our guitar player with the beard. Um, and then Alex, our drummer, usually sleeps here, as you can tell. He's got his flower blanket and stuff like that. And uh, come on. And this is uh, usually this is Steve, our other guitar player. He's got some hummus that he likes to eat, and he also has uh, some pita bread as well. Um, what else? So then these are his blankets and stuff like that. TJ and I, we prefer to sprawl out when we sleep, so we took the back seat out of the van in order to uh, create more room so that we could sprawl out, you know, because we, uh, we love, love the room. So, what we did is we laid down a cushion like this in the back. However, these puppies, we've tried to take them out, but we can't seem to find something big enough to unscrew them. So uh, we, have, we have to take it to a place that's like specializes in taking that crap out. But anyway, more clothes, of course, blanket. 
boots, yeah, laundry basket. That's 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 all for the van. But uh, all right, now for the trailer. Like I told you before, we downsized. We were using full stacks before, and like a whole like scrams and everything like that. And then we're like, you know what? Why are we have the, why do we have this huge trailer when we're using scrims to hide our back line? So we're like, okay, let's just downsize everything. Let's use pipes for our scrims instead of the big metal ones. And uh, we were able to fit everything, including merch, inside this little guy right here. And can serve on gas and wear and tear on the vehicle. But anyway, as you can see, she's packed pretty full. Um, our merch goes in this first compartment. As you see, you got these little things here to put CDs up here, put some luggage up there as well, and then whatever else. And then if you look in here, you can see all the merch, or not merch, but all the equipment we just got done playing. So it's all packed away because our guys were awesome about packing away right away, I think. I don't know, I was at the merch table, so usually, you know, I have to hurry up to get them going. But. All right. Alright, I'm gonna open up the back for you so you can get a better look at this equipment. There she is, right there. There's the equipment, right here. As you can see, guitars, you got drum equipment, scrims, whatever else. Uh, yeah, and then there's this other place we call home as well, and that's that tour bus right there, the black one. You might have looked at it before. It's the Asley Dying tour bus. We, we hijack that sometimes and trade them. We actually have them come in the van and we'll all go on the bus every like three shows. They're cool with it. Not a big deal. So but yeah, that's that's about it. Thank you guys very much for uh, checking out the vehicle that we sleep and call home.